The night did not go as planned for thousands, hoping to see Ed Sheeran perform at Allegiant Stadium. The Grammy Award winning artist canceling the show tonight less than an hour before it was set to start. 8 News Now reporter Brian Will is live outside the stadium tonight with fan reaction. Brian. Thousands of fans left here disappointed and had to find alternate plans tonight after learning that Ed Sheeran's concert was postponed from his Instagram post. Now, Legion tells us it was due to technical difficulties, and the fans we spoke to came from all over to see this concert. We're from Salt Lake, we're from Utah, and we bought these tickets in April, so a long time ago. We've based our day today around coming tonight, do you know what I mean? So all of our plans today, we haven't done certain stuff because we knew we were coming here tonight, so it's a little bit annoying. Fans outside Allegiant Stadium frustrated Saturday night after receiving news that the concert had been canceled. They had traveled far and wide to be here, and they found out less than an hour before the show was scheduled to start. Someone came up to us and we're like, we're so sorry that the concert got canceled. And we were like, what? And then we checked his Instagram and it was canceled. Ed Sheeran's Instagram post said in part, I'm so sorry, I know everyone has traveled in for this. These fans found out in line. We were queuing at the turnstile to get in and a, a lady that works here, a member of staff, just said, I think the, con the concert's being postponed or canceled. And we're, we're like, what? Out. And then, because we've had, we've had emails all day saying like, you can only take a certain type of bag in with you tonight. So there's no emails about it. it's been canceled. It was the trip of a lifetime for Alicia and Steve. But even worse, it was a birthday present. It was for his birthday, so I had to buy him a night out <laughs> instead. For Emma and her family, it was like an arrow through the heart. Super disappointed. We've been looking forward to this forever. I don't know, we like prepared. We have our wigs. <laughs> but this group says they will come back. We love him and it's not his fault. And yeah, we're not too far away, so we'll come back. Unfortunately, Steve and Alicia won't be able to come back anytime soon. As for what these fans are doing tonight instead, get a taxi back to the strip, yeah, to, to the our bar. hotel, and go to the bar, yeah, drown our sorrows, I suppose. We took pictures outside of the concert with Everybody people. Everybody just keeps asking us. For like an hour and a half. We're, we're like, we didn't pictures. get to see the real Edgerin. Let's, <laughs> Let's get a picture with you guys. <laughs> yeah, so we're hot. We're going to go get drinks, and we're going to swim. Clark County Fire Department tells me they treated multiple people here on site at Allegiant for heat related issues and even took one person to the hospital. Now Allegiant says they did open their doors, doors early at about 5.05 tonight to let people in to get away from the heat. Reporting live at Allegiant Stadium, Brian Will, 8 News Now. Brian, thank you. The concert has been rescheduled for Saturday, October 28th. The tickets from this event will be valid for that date. But if you're like some of these fans and traveled here and cannot make it back, you can try and get a refund.